I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own Hayori or to use somebody else's. You need this game pass that you're seeing on your screen right now. All right, they did just load up. Boom, apply. Look at that, we got a new Hayori. All right guys, so we are in here and like I said, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own Hayori or to use somebody else's. Like I said, you need this game pass that you're seeing on your screen right now. You buy that, you'll be able to have it and you'll be able to uh, also take it on and off as you see fit. You can go like this, see? And now I'm just wearing one of the normal costumes that you find in the shop. I will also be uh, including the code to this one and the colored version of this one in today's video as well. I just made it the other day I'm really hype about it. I like it. So hopefully you enjoy it too. Alright, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into it. Uh, so if you bought the Hayori Game Pass, first thing you're going to want to do, well not first thing, but you're going to want to come up here. You're going to leave, turn left. It's right over, over here by the Nitrine Quest, and if you're heading the wind, it's around that way too. But we're just going to jump up. Halfway there. You're gonna come to this town right here. This is mainly the main focus of this town. Right here, this guy. This is the Hayori Changer. So the way it works is if you have the Hayori Game Pass, you would probably notice you put on your Hayori and it's nothing but a gray blob or it might be a gray checkered. I've seen a couple different ways. Either way, it's gray and you didn't choose what it looked like. To choose what it looks like, you're gonna come here. You can adjust it and everything, but we'll get to that in a moment. You need a pattern, so you need an ID number. To get the ID number, you can either make your own and upload it as a decal, or you can get somebody else's. Let's jump to that. Alright, so when you're on the dashboard here, you want to go to Create. And you want to go to Decals. I don't know if you do it in your group or if you do it in your own, probably your own. As you can see, these are the ones I made. I upload them multiple times <laughs> because sometimes it takes forever to OK it. And sometimes if I just upload it multiple times, it happens like quick. They add to each their own. You don't have to do that. This is where you would upload it if you had an image that you wanted. Now, if you want to make your own, you're going to need some sort of editor, whether it be like Paint or 3D Paint Plus or blah, blah, blah. I use Photoshop. Obviously, that's paid. So if you don't have that, that's fine. Just You can Google free alternatives or use Paint, whatever you got to do. You can use pictures that you find or you can create your own. And this one particularly, I literally had to do all the lines. So I'll show you. All right, so this is the one I was talking about here. I'm going to put the code in there for you. All right, so like I said, I, I this is where I made it. I use Photoshop. Um, personally, I like to use this size. Where is it? I like to use 8 by 8 in inches, or you can switch it to pixels, and that's 576 by 576. That's what I use, and that's what I use for most decals. So once you have it the way you want it, you can make it whatever you want. All right, so I just wanted to put this up real quick. So basically, if you're trying to make your own, and this is a square, but you do have to realize that they do repeat it, the same square over and over again. That's how the Hayoris are made up. So for example, you want them to touch up like puzzle pieces and match up to where it sort of look good. Like a problem is like if you have half of a, a square right here, right here, a blue one, right? But you're like, hey, you know, I'm going to have a green triangle coming out this side over here. And then you're going to have, you know, a pink half of a circle here. And now let me show you what's going to happen. Or, you know, might as well just for OCD sake, let's just say uh, a rectangle over here. Now what happens, so what happens is what they do in this is they would take it like this. Imagine duplicating it. So you take that duplication and once it stacks right next to it, see what happens? It doesn't connect properly. It's going to look weird once it's repeated a bunch of times. You know what I mean? everything's gonna get messed up so to make this properly connect if you wanted to you would have to think about you want the left side and the right side to be able to connect because that's what's gonna happen now like I said I'm doing this quickly so <laughs> it ain't gonna be exact but like look so if I put a square on this side as well and then let's put half of a circle on top and then another half of a circle on the bottom. It ain't going to match up. I'm doing this quick. All right, so once it breaks down and it starts repeating it over and over and over again, let's see what happens. As you can see, see how it starts to match up here? And now let's take both of them and repeat it. 
as you can see it actually starts to match up and it makes sense on a Hayori. you see how that works now you can actually see a pattern forming and that's how that works I, obviously you don't have the same resources I have I get it I get it but you can also just upload any picture you find online you find a pattern you like that you didn't make it doesn't matter like I'll give you an example so I just looked up something random I just looked up moon pattern so like say you wanted to do this I'm not positive but this one looks like it connects that one looks like it connects so let's just try this one here I just copy it and I bring it here and now I just have to size it to match now this should work out alright we'll see how it goes so now I'm just gonna save it um, I do believe it works better when these are saved as a PNG file it should be an option on anything you use let's go decals so let's go moon test all right, so let's say you got a picture you like, you found it, you sized it, whatever you want to do, you got it. I don't think it has to be as exact size, just that type of increment. Either way, whatever. Say you got your image and you got one saved and you like it and you want to do it, you just come here, choose file. Where's that moon? There's that moon one I used right there. We'll just name it Alpha Moon Test. And we'll upload it. Done successfully. All right sometimes it takes a moment and have this little image and if you tried to use it right now you would have that stupid image on your Hayori as well so you gotta give it a moment sometimes I get impatient I give it a couple seconds and I upload it again I give it a couple seconds upload again and it sounds dumb but sometimes the third one I upload will clear before the other ones do it's weird I don't understand how Roblox works but it works so I'm gonna skip to when this is ready alright they did just load up I did a second one and it did load up quicker and then the other one kicked right in right after it so now, once you got that, you just need this number right here. Oh, you can't see it. It's behind my screen. Let me move this over. You need this number right there. Copy that. There you go. You can minimize that. Now you get back in the game. This is the point. You put that number in right there. Boom. Apply. Look at that. We got a new Hayori. And now, I forgot to show you, but now you can size it. You want it really zoomed in and big? You can do that. You want it really fine and small, you can do that as well. And then you can also transparent. I don't know why anybody would ever want to do that, but you can if you want to. And you can also change the color sometimes. Depending on the pattern, it works better. Like, boom, I got red. Anyway, that is that. Now, you guys know how to do your Hayoris. Hopefully that helps you. Um, I do have two special Hayoris that I made for Ana, Anakami specifically, so I will release those to you guys so you can support those if you want. I was really proud of them. Rui actually was talking about making it the icon of the game, so I think he liked it too. But anyway, let me get those out for you. Alright, so the first one is the one you saw me wearing already is the black and white one. It has the red Anakami. There's the number right there. Just apply. Oh, I have it set to green. But there you go. That is the first one. It looks pretty cool. I made this one custom for Anakami. Um, there's the pattern. Like I said, it will be in the description below as well. So you don't have to sit here and read off the screen if you want to. Just go look there. The other one, and there is the other one. This is the colored version where I kind of got crazy with it and I decided to color each hash or other color. I think it actually looks pretty cool as well. Uh, I like it. But there you go. There's the code. Like I said, also going to be in the description. So enjoy that. Hopefully this helped you figure out how to do your Hayori. If it did, let me know in the comments. I'd like to see them and see how you do. If you make your own custom Hayori, let me know. Um, that is it. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Join the Roblox group. Tons of cool people, cool merch, and more. Hop in the Discord if you want to chat with us. Drop a comment um, if you have any suggestions or ideas or just want to ask a question. Whatever the reason may be, just do it. And uh, last but not least, hit that notification bell so you can see all the new videos that's coming. I know some big changes are coming that's probably going to make me have to make a lot more videos. So if that does happen, you're going to need that bell. That being said, Alpha Misfits is out.